Hello everybody, today we're going to install Stardew Valley on the Steam Deck and I've already uh, downloaded it on my PC, it's on my D drive as you can see I think I downloaded and unzipped it, so I'm going to run it on my PC first to make sure it runs uh, and yeah it's running, it looks looking good so once I've done this step I'm going to transfer to my Steam Deck. Uh, I've got Warpinator installed on my PC and I've got it installed on my Steam Deck and they're both connected to the same network. I'm gonna copy the file from my PC, the game file, and just drag it to this to the Steam Deck. Yep, this is my Steam Deck page. I'm gonna accept the file, the whole folder actually, the whole folder, and then it's gonna start transferring. So it's transferring right now, uh, and normally I would fast forward this portion as it's just transferring, but uh, it is a small game, so I guess we can all just wait for it to transfer. And I'm going to probably make a three-part video on this Stardew Valley. Uh, so you're watching the first part. This part um, I'm going to install uh, on the Steam Deck. And part two, I'm going to mod it on the Steam Deck. Uh, because it is a little bit different uh, modding it on the PC and on the Steam Deck. So I'll go through how to mod the game uh, on Steam Deck. So you can play like the expansions like the Stardew Expanded or Ridgeside Valley, uh, Ridgeside Village, something like that. Yeah, uh, those are pretty good expansions and, and probably on the third part I'm going to go through some of the best mods that I think that you should install. Because uh, on the Steam Deck, uh, if you install too many mods, uh, it does get uh, laggy. It, it takes a long time to boot up the game. Uh, once you're in the game, it's okay. But like, when you start the game, it's going to take a long time. And if you're playing uh, on handheld mode or playing mobile on mobile, it's, uh, we, it's not good where, when it takes so long to load. This game's like been out for quite a while, so I think most of you have played it. I've played through the vanilla version. Uh, uh, haven't hundred percent it, but like uh, I think I got everything. Ex the golden clock, I think uh, I was like a, like two three million dollars away, and it was just a grind. I mean, like you just like grind the days. So yeah, I just left that part. I didn't do it. And then for the star, and then I installed st uh, the Stardew Expanded, and I didn't really like get into it because it's a grind. Um, I've already played like I think sixty hours of the game, and yeah, I kind of just stopped. So maybe I'll get into it later. But there's so many games to play right now, so don't think I'll have the time to to dig into it. But yeah, if you're just starting out, I suggest you just play the vanilla because that would probably take you 50 to 60 hours already and then uh, after that uh, you could consider installing the expansions uh, but there's if you don't even if you don't install the expansion uh, modding it is pretty good like there's a few mods that really enhance the gameplay uh, and if you want to cheat but uh, I don't, I don't su suggest doing the cheats at, at the start because it really defeats the purpose and you, you miss out a lot because you just get all the items you, you really want and then there's no there's no need to grind anymore. So yeah, just play the vanilla version, add a few like mods. Uh, you watch part three and I'll go through uh, some of the mods that are good for just to start out. And then once you've beat the game or you've had enough of it, then you can just go crazy and do all the crazy mods. So yeah, it's almost completed the transfer. So if you made it this far, congrats. And uh, after this, we're gonna... Oh, it's done. So now we're gonna install it on our Steam. So we open, uh, check the folder first, and then we're gonna go to our Steam, and then add the non-Steam game.
can get all the files are here. So I'm going to go to Steam, Library, add a game, add a non-Steam game. Choose the, click Browse, and then going to choose the folder, and then the EXE. All right. And then on the left side, I'm going to go to Properties. Then I'm going to change stardewvalley.exe to Stardew Valley. And then I'm going to make the compatibility to Proton Experimental. All right, let's just run the game here and see if it works. Okay, so it's, a, it's looking good. So then we just got to check it out on game mode. And if it works there, then uh, we're done. So we've installed Stardew Valley on Steam Deck. Uh, that'll be the end of part one. Uh, stay tuned for part two because I'm going to mod the game. So let's just go back to gaming mode now and see how it does. Okay, in gaming mode, uh, first thing I normally do is change the artwork, make it look good. So I'm going to use the official artwork. Uh, it's up to you. You could go crazy and download some of the other ones, but I normally go with the official if it's there. Okay, so let's start the game. Looking good. Yeah, it is a pretty easy game to install. Alright, so uh, yeah, stay tuned for part 2 and I uh, hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later.